everybody, Shane here, and I bet you're wondering how I was able to accomplish such a feat as recreating the canoe system from Final Fantasy. Well, actually, it's a lot more complicated than you might think. So, if we were to take a look at Final Fantasy, you will see that the waterways, namely the rivers and lakes, they have their own set of aquatic battles, just like the oceans have their own. So to pull that off, I made out a map of region IDs, and so what this allows me to do within the editor is place battle system, or just troops, in these specific regions. But whenever it comes to doing the canoe, it's also useful if I can pull up the plugin for region events. This is a Yanfly system, uh, just allows you to call a common event whenever you step upon a region ID. And for the new system, I used region ID 3 for common event 14. So if we go look over at what the common event actually is, it's called a canoe. Because the region IDs will always be on the map, regardless of if you have the canoe or not, I have to first check if the party has a canoe. And if it, the party does, we go in to check which direction the player is facing, and which direction he is intending to go. It's not really clean. It's the cleanest I can get, I bet, because with the Yanfly event, you can only use it as a single active player touch event. Which means, unlike Final Fantasy, I can't be standing on the tile already and then proceed to go into the canoe. I have to go from 0 region ID to 3, then to 4. It has to progress like that. It is effective in doing what you just saw. Creating the canoe from essentially nothing and allowing the player to enter it and just swim around the, uh, the lakes. So the next thing is after the intended direction is calculated by simply just checking to see if they are walking in that direction by holding down the intended button. I have a uh, master event list where it checks for the map ID, the X coordinate of the player, the Y coordinate of the player. Since we're checking to see if the player is going into a direction above, below, left or right of them, we are going to adjust the Y or X coordinate according to that direction in which they're going. So if the player is going down, the Y coordinate is the Y value plus one, and then region ID is being checked at value X, Y of the player's coordinate of X and the adjusted Y. If the region ID is four, as in it is on top of water, then we proceed with setting the vehicle location at the coordinates we were checking, and we tell the player to get on the vehicle, which allows you to do what I showed you. I would like to point out the fact that while I have used plugins for this, that is only to make it easier and a little bit cleaner within my master list over here. It's entirely possible to do the same sort of setup, uh, having a check for your region ID at your coordinates within my master list over here. Uh, as I explained previously, I do check for the X and Y coordinates of the player. So, in the following statement, you can have key location info for the variable terrain, which is the same variable used over here. When using the terrain variable in the actual canoe common event, what it's checking for is water. If you're looking for a plugin free version of the same system, you can use the terrain check for region ID 3, and if it is 3, call common event canoe and it will do the exact same thing. And it's only going to be done if you step on region ID 3 and you're facing region ID 4 with the intent of going onto that location. Uh, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment down below if you would like to see any other game-related recreations done in RPG Maker. Subscribe. I will have more of these out there. But until then, thanks again for watching, and I'm going to end the video.